Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, today we are going to be running through the AGL Turles Extreme Z battle event, and at the same time, prove to you guys that the Dokkan Fest Raditz is actually good for something in this game. So, here is a quick look at the team. We got, of course, a all low class warriors team with the uh, Fizz Turles as my leader, and then we got the LR team Bardock. The uh, Fizz LR Bardock, Int Fasha, the Fizz LR Goku, and Tech Tora, and the friend is either going to be the AGL Bardock or another uh, Tokan Fest Raditz. And as always, we do have a timer over my head for those of you that want to race me to see if you can finish it faster than I can. And without further ado, we are going to jump in here in 3, 2, 1, a go. And we are officially in, starting with level 1. Now, I have about 30-ish minutes to go before I have to leave for the cottage with my family for the next couple of days. So, uh, hopefully that's going to be enough time to uh, get this done. Because I am a little bit concerned that I'm going to be very late, which is definitely a possibility. But I don't think this is going to take us too long okay you know what actually this guy has a lot of hp <laughs> i just noticed on level one he has a good amount of hp so we might have some issues here we might have some issues i mean it's strange because the uh lr super saiyan 4 goku and super saiyan 4 vegeta extreme z battle was like super super easy like these guys had almost no hp for the first it feels like six or seven levels. I was like one-shotting every stage up until at least level seven. So I don't understand why Turles is like so strong on level one. But uh, yeah, once again, we have about half an hour. So hopefully <laughs> that's going to be enough. We're already not on track. That first level took a minute and 23 seconds. So I'm going to try to you know, go as quickly as possible. Here we go, level 2, um, pure Saiyan's lead, I think that's okay. I mean, it's still early in the event, so we shouldn't be too concerned, right? I don't know, here we go. Okay, so hopefully this Goku can do some damage here. Uh, maybe, you know, one or two shot the Turles. Yeah, why is this guy... That was weird. I don't know what happened there. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Let's keep going. Uh, additional super, no additional super there, but a nice 18 key super for the LR team Bardock, and hopefully a crit will do it. No crit, still good enough. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're making up lost time right now. It's not going too bad. Um, you know what? Actually, maybe the reason I feel like this is um, a little bit difficult, if you will, is because I'm just coming off the Dokkan All-Stars Extreme Z battle. And as you guys might know, that event is, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of levels, but I mean, for at least the first 500, 600 stages, it's a bit of a joke, right? Like, it's really not very challenging. It's just very tedious. You just have to go through a lot of levels. Um, so yeah, in comparison to that, this Turles is infinitely harder. He's not hard, though. I was just expecting to like basically one shot him at least for the first couple of levels and that's not happening so that's why I'm a little bit confused right now but we'll be fine we'll be fine um so at the beginning of this video I was like maybe we can show that Fizz Raditz is useful for something right and so far I don't think he's launched a single attack so maybe on this fight on this stage we can showcase him a little bit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. Raditz, do your thing. Let's see it. 2.5 mil. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and that is a lot of damage, guys. That is a lot of damage, to be fair. Okay, to be fair to Raditz. Um, there is damage reduction against extreme types but i thought that didn't kick in until level 9 or level 10 
So I thought at least for the first couple of stages, uh, Raditz would be able to do some damage, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Very wrong about that. Like, I, I, I legit thought he would do at least a couple mil, but okay. That's my bad. That's my bad. Clearly, this is not the stage to showcase Raditz on. Uh, but let's be honest, there are no stages in this game that really make Raditz look good, even on Super Battle Road. Even on Extreme Super Battle Road. He doesn't really perform as well as you would hope for a unit that's supposed to be like an attack all specialist, right? Like, he... He's fine on regular Super Battle Road, on Extreme Super Battle Road. I mean, he's not quite tanky enough, uh, especially in the first slot, and he does get you in some trouble, so like, he's not great there. So it's like, yo, why does this guy exist? <laughs> why does Dokkan Fest Raditz exist, man? I mean, we had a long conversation about it in the Dokkan All-Star stream, and uh, honestly, I still haven't figured it out. I still haven't figured it out. As a guy that has had a lot of luck on the Raditz banner, I still kind of regret summoning on it because, I mean, even though I pulled two copies in like six multis, which was awesome, what do I do with him? <laughs> what do I do with him? I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, clearly he's not a good leader for this. Um, I thought for the first 10 levels before that like additional damage reduction kicked in, that he would be able to do something. But no, he does nothing on this stage, on this event rather. And uh, not great on Super Battle Road, not great on the Legendary Goku events, not great on the Legendary Vegeta events, not great on Red Zone. Um, I guess he does okay on Dokkan events, but even on Dokkan events, it's like, you have much better single target attackers, so why would you bring this guy that has low attack stat that's supposed to attack multiple units, right? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Why does he exist? What was the justification behind his design? No one will ever know. I mean, who who designed him is the question. Like, we need to find the guy that was responsible for designing Raditz and just ask him, Why? Why did you do this to us? I mean, he is just such an outlier, right? Like. I don't want to be the guy to say, you know, Bandai has been doing a bad job with recent Dokkan Fest releases, because that's not true. I mean, just look at, like, the LR, uh, Gallic Gun, Goku, or sorry, Gallic Gun, Vegeta, and Trunks. They're incredible. They're amazing, right? So, like, and of course, you have other examples, too, like, um, the Worldwide Celebration units, the, um... I don't know, I can't think of things off the top of my head right now, but the point is, they've been doing a good job. So this guy is very much an anomaly. And look, I didn't mean to turn this video into another Raditz rant video. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of those in the recent past. Um, I just gotta, I just gotta say, man, I just gotta get this off my chest again because he's on this team and he's doing nothing. So that's my fault. I should not have brought him. We will definitely switch over to an AGL Turles, sorry, uh, AGL Bardock team sooner than later. Actually, the problem with doing that is that I can't bring the Fizz LR Bardock if I do that, right? And um, I really want to use the Fizz LR Bardock. So we could either switch to a Pure Saiyans lead, maybe, um, like, you know, AGL. SSBE Vegeta or uh, STR Super Vegeta, that could possibly work. But you know what? For the time being, I'ma keep I'ma keep Turles. You know he's a bit of a liability offensively, uh, defensively. I'm, I, I think he holds up okay. I think he holds up just fine. So he's not really a problem there. But yeah, offensively he just provides nothing. Like he just gives us nothing. It's really quite sad. <laughs> It's really quite sad. And then supposedly after level 9, um, there's like another 70% damage reduction that kicks in, right? So if he's doing nothing right now, then in a couple of stages, he's going to be doing... Like he might as well be healing the enemy turtles then, right? <laughs> That's what's going to happen, because if he's doing this kind of damage now, like what's he going to do once the turtles gets 
you know, 80% damage reduction or whatever. The good thing is, at the very least, yo, LR Bardock is absolutely murking him. Like, he is destroying one dude, we just one shot him, right? So, he's definitely worth keeping around. And uh, maybe just for the leader skill alone, it's worth keeping the, the Raditz around. Um, and if we keep get, if we keep getting LR Bardock in our first rotation, then we have no issues. Then we're good to go. Um, I just don't expect this to like always be the case. Like this is the perfect rotation. This is the ideal rotation. But we're not always gonna get this rotation. Oh my God! Look at this guy. Man is going off. <laughs> A man is going off. That's awesome. I'm actually very surprised we didn't um, we didn't one shot him there, but that's fine. One shot, two shot, as long as a single rotation, I'm good, and we are making okay time. Thirty minutes is definitely not happening anymore, but if we can do this within forty, I'll still be okay. I'll still be satisfied. Here we go. You know what's even more surprising actually is the fact that we've been able to find a friend Raditz like half the time. Like that's actually um, very surprising. I'm not complaining about it, obviously. I think it's 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 dope, but you know, I would have expected there to be less Raditzes. Like when I was trying to do the uh, Raditz showcase um, a couple days ago, it was not easy to find Raditz friends, I'm telling you, man, it was a challenge. I had to do a lot of refreshes before I found like a good Raditz friend. Like a lot of the Raditzes I found on my friends list were either at like super attack level one or Undoken Awakened or both. Um, it just like seems like most people did not care about their Raditz at all when they pulled them. Um, and even if they were like Doken Awakened and super attack 10, they were usually 55% with level one links and I was like, I can't use that either. And I don't know how, but somehow, somehow, I was able to find a rainbow Raditz friend for that showcase. And even at rainbow status, <laughs> it did not look very good, guys. Uh, I mean, he was getting like between, what, four to five mil attack stat, which, I mean, maybe, you know, is okay for an EZA of a non dokon Fest unit from like 2017, but... <laughs> Nowadays, for a new Dokkan Fest, you really expect much more, right? On the bright side, yeah, at least he's, 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 he's getting, he's, he's, he's tanking, he's tanking, so that's good. Yo, he did a million damage, guys. He did over a million damage, that is the first time we've seen that in this video. <laughs> I don't know how this became the roast. Of, uh, of Raditz um, some, Sometimes things just work out that way, you know Sometimes you don't plan for things. It just just kind of happens and I think it's time we moved on to a different subject because I think I've Beat this subject to death. You guys get the point. Raditz is not good It needs an extreme Z awakening like on release and uh, There's actually okay I should probably stop talking about it, but there was actually uh, a little debate about like what was the worst Dokkan Fest unit um, upon release. Or, or no, I think someone asked me what the worst Dokkan Fest unit in the game is. And I was like, Raditz is not that. Raditz is definitely not the worst Dokkan Fest unit in the game. Because there's definitely old Dokkan Fest units that are much worse, right? Um, that need EZAs. Like, uh, I don't know, AGL Cooler is pretty underwhelming, right? Or... Um, other examples that I can't think of right now, but the point is, he's not the worst, but at the point of release, at the time of release, he might be the worst Dokkan Fest unit we've seen, like, in their time, you know what I mean? So, like, for example, someone was saying, uh, oh, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly is bad, but I don't think he was as bad at the time he came out as Raditz is in the time he came out, which is literally last week, right? So... Yeah, there's an argument to be made that he is definitely the worst Dokkan Fest release ever. Not to say he has the worst Dokkan Fest unit in the game, but rather for his time, at the time of release, he might be the worst, if that makes any sense. So, 
yeah, that is uh, all I'm gonna say about Raditz. It's, it's been actually like a 15 minute rant, so <laughs> I think I think my feelings are pretty pretty clear. Okay, so yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, the Bardock is definitely carrying us, even though we have the double Turles or uh, sorry, not Turles, the uh, uh, double Raditz most of the time, who's doing no damage. At the very least, the leader skill is is good for us, and. Uh, you know, defensively, um, they're holding up, at least so far. I wonder if later in the event, Turles might start doing a lot of damage to Raditz, but for now, he's holding up. So, I think it's fine to keep the double Raditz leaders for the time being. But if we have to switch things up, um, I'll probably swap out... Uh, I'll probably swap out the... Raditz's for Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta's, I'm thinking. <laughs> I think that makes the most sense, because obviously the uh, STR Super Vegeta could do some good damage, but I'm worried about them defensively. I feel like uh, a Super might, you know, be, be trouble. So that's probably not the best move. But once again, we'll see. We'll see. We're still, I think, a ways from there, man, as long as, like, you know, I keep getting the uh, Bardock in the first or second rotation. I'm really not too concerned about our ability to kill the Turles relatively quickly. Especially if we get like an additional here. He might be able to still kill him by himself. Oh, never mind, actually. He's, he's getting a good amount of HP now. So that's not quite possible. But, uh... We're still doing good. <laughs> we're still doing good. Look, I know there's the damage reduction, but this is just really sad to see, guys. This is this is hard to watch. Okay, um, let's let's talk about <laughs> something else. Uh, let let's let's talk about the upcoming worldwide celebration. Worldwide celebration. Uh, cooler movie. It's uh, you know, obviously gonna be a Super Saiyan cooler and a oh, sorry, Super Saiyan cooler, a Super Saiyan Goku and a Final Form Cooler Dual Dokkan Fest. I think that much is pretty much, you know, confirmed at this point. And, you know, some people are asking me like, yo, how do you feel about it? And I gotta say, I'm not as excited for it as I would have been for a superhero, you know, theme celebration. Obviously, I was really hoping that it would be a Dragon Ball Super superhero, um, you know, movie celebration. We still ended up getting a movie celebration to be fair, but, it's not quite what I wanted, um, but I still think it was a good choice. You know, I, I'm still excited for it, specifically for the extreme side of things, because an LR Final Form Cooler, there's a lot of potential in that. An LR Super Saiyan Goku, I mean, how many of those do we have in the game already, man? We have at least four? Hold on, let me think. Uh, we got the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. We have the Namek Goku from the, you know, Dual Dokkan Fest last year. We have the Free to Play LR Goku, which still counts. Um, are there any other solo Super Saiyan Gokus in the game? I feel like I'm forgetting one. Yeah, I, I can't say for sure, but I feel like I'm forgetting one. Either way, the point is... There's already quite a few Super Saiyan LR Gokus, and then of course there's a bunch of, you know, TUR Super Saiyan Gokus, like many, many TUR Super Saiyan Gokus. So, am I excited for another Super Saiyan Goku in the game? I can't say I am. I can't say I am. I'm not gonna say, like, I'm not gonna summon for him, because obviously this one's gonna be somewhat unique, and uh, I'm sure he's gonna be really, really broken. I mean, if we just go by the trend of uh, Worldwide Celebration units, they're usually even better than the Anniversary units that preceded them, which makes sense from a uh, JP to Global, like, on, or rather, makes sense from a JP perspective, because if you think about JP side, the Worldwide Celebration units are coming out about six months after the Anniversary units, right? So even, even though for us on Global, it's... Uh, you know, back-to-back -back releases, essentially. For JP, it's been about six months to seven months since 
the anniversary units were released, so you would expect some more power creep. You would expect an upgrade, right, at that point. So, yeah, the uh, Worldwide Celebration units will be better, by, by all means, should be better, than the anniversary Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and the LR Gods, which, you know, when, when you think about that, you're like, how do you make them even better when the 7th anniversary LRs are already like crazy broken they're gonna find a way they, they will definitely find a way so yeah uh, going back to the Goku I think he's gonna be you know ridiculously busted um, but I just can't get excited for it man but the the cooler the cooler is the focus the cooler is definitely the uh, main attraction I think for most people and I'm stoked. I'm stoked for him, for sure. No question about that. So, yeah, guys. Um, I'm staying optimistic. I can't wait to see that stream. I will definitely be streaming on the channel. We'll do a live reaction like we've done in previous years. So make sure you guys are, you know, available for that one. And uh, we're, we're basically going directly from, like, an anniversary celebration into another anniversary level celebration like this time of the year for global is always madness because there's just so much you know craziness going on you know what i mean like we got the uh, anniversary the worldwide celebration and then we're going directly into the thank you celebration which is going to be the lr uh gallic gun vegeta and trunks which once again is amazing and for that celebration we should be getting you know, the EZAs for uh, for the Vegito Blue and the Rosé, the Rosé and Zamasu, like it's gonna be a wild time. And then we have the uh, Christmas celebration, right? And then we have the uh, New Year Step Up banner, like they're just, like, like from now until the end of the year basically, it's gonna be one crazy campaign after another, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited, man. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Hope you guys are excited for it as well. And uh, let's get this turn list done, man. Yo, we are taking a very long time. Like, I did not expect to... I mean, is there a better team I could run? There, there, there must be. Or maybe this one's just supposed to be a little bit more challenging than some of the other ones we've seen. Cause I feel like the anniversary Extreme Z battles were actually really, really chill. And maybe that's kind of like skewed my perception of like how hard Extreme Z battles actually are. Like maybe most Extreme Z battles are around this level and I'm just used to having super easy Extreme Z battles to deal with from the anniversary. Like it was weird, the um, LR Super Saiyan 4s, like that Extreme Z battle was I think unquestionably a lot easier than the TUR Extreme Z battle, right? And of course, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are much better post Extreme Z Awakening than the TUR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But the TUR Super Saiyan 4 Extreme Z Awakenings, or rather, Extreme Z battle of it, was actually like pretty. It was pretty challenging. Am I crazy? I thought it was pretty challenging. Whereas the LR Super Saiyan 4 Extreme Z battle, absolute cakewalk, absolute breeze. Or maybe my teams just got better. That is a possibility. Maybe my team just got better. I mean, I did use the LR Gods and the LR Super Saiyan 4s, who are once again, pretty busted. So <laughs> if I think about it, that might actually be a bigger contributing factor. I don't know, man. I don't know. The point is, this Turles is taking some time. It's taking some time. We're still on level 19. We're still making good progress, but now it's looking like a 45 minute kind of thing, as opposed to what I originally thought, which was, you know, like a quick 30 minute like video just banging out real quick and then head over to the cottage now it's uh taking a little bit longer some people are getting upset i'm not gonna say who but you know they might be looking at me right now <laughs> it's all good though it's all good though we'll make it we'll make it here we go 
23 minutes, 24 minutes, basically. Um, good tanking still. That's good to see. That's great to see. Uh, so we've really taken no damage in this run. Like, no damage whatsoever. It's just a question of, um, or a matter of, like, dealing damage to the Turles. And most of these units have been doing an okay job. Uh, there are some exceptions. But we've already roasted those exceptions enough at this point, so we're not gonna we're not gonna continue doing that. But you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> but yeah, gotta get it done. Just gotta get it done. Gotta go to the cottage feeling like I left nothing un incomplete. You know what I mean? Although that's actually not going to be the case anyways because I didn't finish the new Extreme Z or the, the new Ultimate Clash. I haven't completed the new Ultimate Clash and I am just super behind on things, man. I haven't done the Extreme Z Awakenings for um, the, the Int Free to Play Go Tanks or the Tarble and haven't done the Extreme Z Battle or sorry, not Extreme Z Battle, the Ultimate Clash. Um, I'm just like falling super behind. It's been tough to keep up with all the new content actually. And of course we have that like crazy, you know, uh, what do you call it again? That crazy Dokkan All-Stars Extreme Z Battle event, which obviously I didn't finish today, but nobody did. I mean, actually that's not true. I'm sure some people finished it. I'm sure there are people out there who are on like level, level 900 plus, maybe even done at this point, but I'm not that crazy so <laughs> I'm not there but uh, that one you know like I'm okay with not finishing today I'm okay with uh, taking my time on that one because that's how it's supposed to be done right like that's how they intended that event to be to be completed you're supposed to take your time like all these people doing it like in one to two days more power to you you got my respect but um, you're crazy <laughs> You're crazy, I gotta say. All right, so we should be able to get out of this stage. After this rotation, um, I do kind of wish that the Team Bardock guys did a little bit more damage. Not to say they're bad, they're doing fine. They're doing great. It's just, uh, you know, they don't hit as hard as I was hoping, or they haven't been hitting as hard as I was hoping they would. And then of course you have this guy, who is putting up some decent attack stats actually. You know, no hate, no hate there. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Yo, he clutched it for us. This man clutched it for us. Okay, here we go. Level 20. 10 more to go. We're almost there. Level 21, actually. Okay, so... Let me just quickly check if there are some better options. Um, no, I feel like this is as good of a team as we can put to get. Maybe the Kid Goku Fizz one. We could try him, possibly. Yeah, I mean, he's... He, he's not bad. Okay, let's try him. Let's see, let's see how he does. Let's see how he does. I want to see what kind of damage he can put out. Maybe a little bit better than um, Fasha, because Fasha is really more of like a support kind of unit, right? So yeah, let's let's give him a shot. Let's give him a shot. If it doesn't work out, I'll just switch it back to Fasha. It would have been nice to have the new Int Fasha um, on Global. I'm sure she would have been able to do some, you know, some good stuff on this on this. Uh, on this event, uh, but it is what it is. We're not gonna get her for a while. I don't really care about that unit. I care much more about that Chi Lai, man. That Chi Lai, yo, uh, she looks, I mean, just really unique, like a really cool design, you know? Um, I know she does like no damage, like literally does like no damage, but she does everything else, man. Like that is a, yeah, that's a unit that I actually really want, and I didn't think I would say that for a Peppy Gals unit, honestly. You know, one that wasn't 
Android 18, of course, that's the exception. But yeah, for the most part, you know, I don't really care about these like new Peppy Gals releases, but this one is different. This one is different. That Chilai looks really good, so I'm looking forward to our release on Global for sure. Um, it seems like a unit that will be running a lot actually, just because of like how much utility she has. And uh, yeah. That's gonna be cool. That's gonna be cool. Okay, we're coming up on 30 minutes. We are on level 21. At the very least, this is not gonna take as long as the uh, STR Ultimate Gohan. Yo, that one was a struggle, to say the least, man. That one was tough, because that guy had so much HP on like every single stage. I think that one took me an hour and a half. Honestly, I, I think, I don't know if I timed it, but the stream itself was like over an hour and a half. And I, I'm pretty sure I started my run pretty early on in the stream. So yeah, it's not quite as bad as that one was, but it's still taking a minute. It's still taking a minute. I mean, it, maybe I'm just going really slow, but I don't think that's the case, man. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm running as good of a low-class Warriors team as you can pretty much put together, you know? So, Raditz is just one of the, not tougher, but just one of the more tankier guys. One, one of the more HP heavy Guys, I guess. I don't know if that made sense. Anyways, we'll get there. We'll get there. If I seem a little bit uh, uh, stressed, it's just because of the time limit. <laughs> it's because of my time crunch. I, 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 had, I had promised that uh, this wouldn't take this long, and it's taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. So we just got to really push it. We just, we just really gotta try to get this done as quickly as possible. Here we go, here we go. Uh, oh, that's that's a nice super right there. Yo, these guys better finish off Turtles right now. They they better do it, man. Okay, I'm gonna take a super. Shouldn't be that bad. 12k. Yep. So I'm gonna need like two supers from each of my LRs. And that will most likely get the job done. Okay, so we're not getting two supers. We get two supers from this guy at the very least. Damn it. Okay, so I'm gonna need two supers from the friend Bardock here. <laughs> that would also work. No, okay. Well, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot at the very least. We got Tora now, Tora should finish him off. If not, then definitely, definitely the LR Team Bardock. He's got this, got this man. For sure, okay, let's go. Ah, okay, seven more levels to go. Level 24, let's get it. I was really hoping I could do a showcase of this guy after we did the Extreme Z Battle event, but um, that's definitely not going to happen because I'm already late. So yeah, that's not going to happen, but uh, I will tell you guys right now, he's a beast, man. He's a beast. Why did I not move the guys around? I mean, that's, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that much, but it would have made more sense to move one of the Raditzes to the first slot. Um, not that they would have really done any more damage, but just to, you know, get the links at the very least for uh, a second Raditz at the end there. And now we're going to take a super. I wonder if he's going to take a lot of damage. No, he's fine. Okay, look, at least defensively they're still holding up. <laughs> so that's, that's positive. Okay. Let's go, guys. Give me some. Give me some additional supers. Give me some crits. We need those. We'll take those. Oh, 
Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Okay, that's it. That's it. This rotation will do it. Beautiful. And now we're up to level 25. And you know what? I think we're actually not taking that much longer than normal. I just think because, because your boy's on a time limit, everything just feels like it's taking longer, right? Because the last stage only took minute 20. And for level 25, for like most extreme Z battles, you're like, that makes sense. Yeah, that's how long it should be taking. Um, ooh, okay, we got we got buff turtles right now. Doing no da what? Oh, it's because of the support. Yeah, it makes sense. It's because of the support from Tora. Because I was like, how is the buff turtles doing less damage than regular turtles? And I was like, you know what? Actually, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, okay. You know, I don't know if you guys have thought about this, but the fruit of the tree of might is basically like, it's like steroids, right? Like, <laughs> that's what, that's what Turles is basically taking, it's PEDs. Um, which, you know, it's his choice. His choice, I wouldn't personally do that, but hey, whatever, whatever he wants to do, you know, it's, it's a personal choice. Oh, okay, this is not great. Um... Yeah, the prop. I mean, like, it's good to be invincible, but this guy does like no damage in this form, so it might just end up costing us more time that we don't have. Oh, you know what? Actually, the damage is not bad. The damage is not too bad. It's not great, but it's not terrible. And and the transformation chance is like low enough where. <laughs> I think he's still worth keeping on the team because his like regular damage is actually not terrible and we only have five levels to go so I'm gonna keep this team in its current form it's been working for us it's been you know looking good so yeah let's just let's just keep things as they are so I'm gonna save those fizz orbs for the other LR the LR Goku the LR Bardock is not doing much damage anyways team Bardock that is whereas the two fizz LRs are carrying the bulk of the load right damage wise so we got 18 key supers for both guys this is a very solid rotation if we can get a crit here I feel pretty good about our chances to finish him off with this rotation. Oh, I got the additional, not a super though. But still very good damage even with the uh, additional normal actually. Okay, and that's a nice crit right there. Oh yeah, it's done, it's over. It's over. So we're definitely gonna be able to do this in under 20, 20, no, sorry, not 20, 40, 45 minutes. Under 45 minutes is a lock at this point. You know what? Maybe I should shut up. <laughs> Maybe I should stop talking just in case the last couple of levels take extra long. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, we should. We should not get too overconfident here. Okay. Um, these for Bardock. These for Goku. And we don't even need a super. From, from Raditz because he's not going to do anything so it's fine you know it's the difference between like doing uh, 50k damage to maybe 5k for a normal but like it's, it's still no damage basically so it really doesn't matter I promised I would stop roasting Raditz but it's just too easy <laughs> it's just the opportunity is always there you know so like I'm trying my best, but it's kind of hard not to. I was really scared he was going to additional there. I was like, yo, please don't additional. That's just wasting time. If you additional super there, you're still going to do no damage. You're just going to you know, waste more of my time, so just don't do it. And he didn't, thankfully. <sighs> okay, um, there's not going to be enough damage on this turn. To kill him, we should be able to get him close. 
but unfortunately, yeah, it's not going to be enough. Or maybe if we get the additional, it might be possible. Yeah, no. I shouldn't have given a super a Raditz. That was a rookie mistake right there. That was a rookie mistake right there. Okay. And we're gonna get supered again. <laughs> okay, 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 here we go. And this will do it. Yeah, it's still, it still just blows my mind <laughs> that a non like, what's the right word? Like a non-primary character, if you will. I don't know if that's the right like way to put it, but like, you know, a character that like is very much not super hype for most people, um, generally, you know, gets very broken. It's a very dope, uh, broken Dokkan Fest release, right? I mean, just look at, uh, lo lo look at Fidel. Look at hand that just came out on JP uh who else um Captain Ginyu or I don't think if there are any other examples are those the only ones there's probably more but I can't think of anything right now but the point is you know for for a unit like this right for a character like this like Raditz where you know that people were not going to be too hyped to begin with, you should make him really, really busted, right? Like, if you release a Dokkan Fest Nail, for example, like, he's probably going to be super busted. And that's kind of what people expected from Raditz. Like, when I first read his details, I, I remember, I think I remember in the initial, like, detail breakdown video, I was like, he doesn't look that impressive on paper. But I'm sure when he when when he in, in game you know when you use him, he's gonna be much more impressive you know just because we're probably missing something you know there's something that like isn't quite adding up here. But I'm sure that once we see him in game, we'll be super impressed. And boy was I wrong about that one man. I was so off about that. I mean. He looked bad on paper, and he was bad in the game as well. It's one of those rare cases where, yeah, he's just bad all around. And, yeah, it's, it's uh, quite disappointing and surprising. Quite surprising. Um, on the bright side, yeah, his his celebration is bringing us one of the better Dokkan Fest EZAs that we've seen in a long time, and that is... Of course, the AGL Turles, and um, if you consider the AGL Turles to be the Dokkan Fest release of this campaign, then that's pretty good, because Turles is awesome. Turles is a beast. It's just a shame that the actual Dokkan Fest release, like the new Dokkan Fest release, is, uh, you know, not quite that. Um, I know this is that joke that like, you know, the uh, STR Nappa is more like a Dokkan Fest unit than the Raditz, which, you know, I think most people are just like kind of using that to troll Raditz, but I do see myself using the uh, STR Nappa more often than the Fizz Raditz. Does that mean he's better than the Raditz? I don't know about that, but I think he's definitely more useful. <laughs> He's definitely more useful in more situations than the Raditz will probably ever be outside of his leader skill, I guess, which is actually quite good. Leader skill, good. Leader skill, good. Good. I, I will give you that. Um, but yeah, everything else is just a no-go, man. It's a no-go. Okay, last stage, guys. We're finally here. Uh, we're going for under 45 minutes. It's going to be tough. It's, oh my god. Okay, it's impossible now. It was going to be tough without this stupid transformation. Now it's impossible. <laughs> that transformation just screwed me. So, 
My apologies, guys. Not much I can do here. Not much I can do here. We just gotta sit through it and try to get past the great apes as quickly as possible. But I think this is gonna be like a two, three turn kind of deal, so... Yeah, we just gotta sit back and um, enjoy the, the monkeys. <laughs> On the bright side, we're getting additional attacks, so there's some extra damage in there, but we would still be doing a lot more damage if we weren't monkeys, so I'm not loving it, but it's fine, it's fine. We will get through it, hopefully it's only two turns, I think it's, it's, it's RNG based, right, so it's like either two or three turns depending on your RNG, I believe, although... I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm never really too sure how these giant ape transformations work. Um, but hey man, we're getting a lot of supers. Can we get some crits maybe? That'd be nice. No? Okay. Okay, we're back, we're back finally. Um, that's gonna be a nice 24 key super right there. Okay, and it looks like we might be able to finish him off in the next two rotations. So not this one, not the next one, maybe. But definitely by the third rotation, by the time we get the LR Bardock back, we should finish him. Oh, actually, you know what? I think the next rotation will do it. Or this, no, this rotation will do it. I'm going to get ready to stop the timer here. Oh, I didn't give a super to Bardock. Was I able to? Did I just mess up? I might have just messed up. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Goku will do the trick. Goku will do the trick. Let's go. Okay, under 4630. Under 4630. We got that for sure. And boom. Done. 46 minutes, 19 seconds. A little bit more than my initial uh, 30 minute prediction <laughs> but at least it's um under an hour I guess so let's quickly awaken this man extremes the awaken okay and I'm gonna skip through this boom okay raining uh, we're just gonna use Kai's screw the you know, free to play method or whatever. Okay, here we go. Five Kai's and oh, gotta give him trading items. That was dumb. I just wasted a gravity chamber. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now Turles is ready to go, guys. Uh, let's see. Yep. AGL Turles, ready to go. Unfortunately, I will not be able to do a showcase for you guys. But, uh, hopefully you guys are able to experience him for yourselves. Or, I'm sure there's a lot of other showcases out there, actually, so you can watch those. But, uh, I gotta go. I gotta run to the cottage. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Um, and, uh, by then, hopefully we'll start getting the, you know, um, what do you call it? The uh, Worldwide Celebration leaks and all that good stuff. Uh, but for the time being... That's going to do it for me today. Um, yeah, have an awesome week, guys. I'll see you in, in a couple days. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.